Friends, let us observe this totally unedited surgery. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. The ocular surface is thoroughly irrigated with BSS, applying few drops of povidone iodine. And then the main wound is created. This is a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The wound is created on the posterior aspect of the limbus and then a side port is created about 3 o'clock hours away from the main incision on the left side. Only one side port has been made. An air bubble is injected beneath this air bubble tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. The dye should touch all parts of the anterior capsule for uniform staining. This is a bit of adrenaline. The dye is washed out. If we do not wash the dye, the, if we replace the dye with visco then in some parts there will be more dye in some other parts there will be less dye sticking on the iris and that will cause some problem in visibility. So best visibility is if we wash the dye and then inject visco. Now capsulorexis is done, the anticapsule is torn at the center and a capsular tag is raised, this is guided all around to get an adequate size rexis. In this case the rexis tended to go to periphery at 9 o'clock but it could be retrieved. Hydro dissection is done with 27 gauze cannula and BSS. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is rotated. Visco again. This is a totally unedited recording and you are not missing anything. I'm rotating the nucleus bimanually so that stress on the genule becomes less. The nucleus is free and now the fecu needle is introduced. 2.8 millimeter EC tip. The machine is Oatly Catrex 3, no financial interest. And now This is submarine chop. The tip goes through the nucleus for some distance and then the chopper is used. A free nuclear fragment has been emulsified. Now I divide the other hemineucleus and immediately on piece is held and it is emulsified. In grade 3 nuclear sclerosis, it is not necessary to tilt the nuclear piece and start emulsification from the apex. We can hold anywhere and start emulsifying. But always the tip of the fake needle should be in the central part of the anterior chamber at the iris level or in the upper part of the capsular bag. The nucleus has been managed and now we are going to remove the cortical lens matter. 
we have only one side port I am going to use this 23 gauze Simco because it is ready it is the Simco is attached to another bottle and now as I try to go through the side port I find that the side port is very small now let us see if we can manage this sub incisional cortex with bimanual irrigation aspiration the irrigating probe goes through the main wound and the two flows are and the, the anterior leaf is lifted up and the leakage is less, the interchamber is nicely maintained and we can remove the sub incisional cortex in this way. Cortical cleanup is done and now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is hydro implantation. The antechamber is kept formed by the irrigating probe and this is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens. The lens goes in the capsular bag. The irrigating probe supports the anterior surface of the lens so that the lens doesn't become upside down. The lens is dialed by the irrigating probe. Now this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by stromal hydration. And then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is done. This is very important to have a quiet eye in the postoperative period there should not be any particle seen in the anterior chamber the anterior chamber should be clear the capsular bag should be clear and pure BSS and probably few molecules of moxie is remaining there the integrity of all the wounds are checked few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.